Hi, Jeremy with Lucky Hat Outdoors, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to disassemble and reassemble the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 pistol for routine maintenance. Like any time we deal with any firearm, safety is of the utmost importance, so before we go any further, we're going to make sure that this gun is 100% unloaded. To do that, I'll press the magazine release and allow the magazine to fall free. Set that aside. We'll press up on the slide stop, which is on both sides of the gun. Pull the slide to the rear. Allow it to lock into place and visually inspect the chamber to make sure there's no ammunition in the gun. Now, my MP22 has an aftermarket threaded barrel adapter. To remove the slide, I have to remove this. On the standard MP22, this step is not necessary. So once I've done that, I'll allow the slide to go back forward. For the purposes of stock gun, that step is not necessary at this point. Now, on the left side of the gun is the takedown lever. We'll flip that down just like the regular M&Bs, but it's a little bit different in the fact that we now have to pull it out about a half an inch. It'll stay in place, it'll just be a half inch out of the gun, and this will unlock the slide from the frame. Once that's done, we'll pull the slide to the rear, pick up, and then allow it to go forward. And the slide is complete, we can set it aside. Remove the spring, remove the guide rod, and you'll note that it's angled here on this side, and this is the side that goes up against the takedown lever, so when we return it, we want to make sure that this angle is to the left side of the gun. Now, once we get to this step, there is a threaded nut that sits on this portion of the barrel shroud on the standard gun that you'll need to remove with the supplied wrench. Once that's done, you can remove the barrel shroud, and pull the barrel to the rear, and kind of rotate it until it clears, and set it aside. And at this point, we've completely disassembled the gun for routine maintenance. I apologize because it's obvious from the black marks on my hand and on my counter that I have not done routine maintenance on this gun after the last time I went to the range. Reassemble, we'll just reverse the process. We'll place the barrel back into this block. Now, on the barrel shroud, there is a notch on one side of it that matches up with a nipple inside this block at the bottom. So when we return it, we're going to place it back onto the gun place it inside this block and rotate until it actually stops. And from there, on a factory gun, you would reinstall the nut on this portion. Return the guide rod, making sure that that angle I showed you is facing toward the left. Return the spring, and we'll line everything up with the slide. You know, I try to demonstrate this on the left side of the gun. I'm actually right-handed, so it's a lot easier for me to do it like this. We'll pull all the way back and down and allow it to go forward. Once forward, we can press the takedown lever in and rotate it. And for my purposes, I'll now lock the slide to the rear and reinstall my threaded barrel adapter. Again, for your purposes, this step could be done a little bit earlier. And that's it. Disassembly and reassembly of the M&P 22 from Smith & Wesson. Here in a minute, I'll put on my GoPro and we'll shoot some point of view video to hopefully show you some of the finer details of how to disassemble and reassemble this firearm. Again, when dealing with any firearm, we want to make sure that we're 100% safe. So before we continue, we're going to ensure that this gun is unloaded. To do that, I'm going to press the magazine release on the left side of the gun. Remove the magazine, set it aside. Press up on the slide stop, lock the slide to the rear, and visually inspect the chamber to ensure that there's no ammunition. Now, again, my MP22 has an aftermarket threaded barrel adapter that I'll have to take off now. On a stock gun, there's a nut here, but it doesn't have to remove, be removed at this point. Once that's done, we'll let the slide go forward. Pull down on the takedown lever on the left side of the gun, and instead of leaving it in place as we do on the other M&Ps, we'll have to pull out about a half inch. 
Once that's done, the slide is unlocked. We can pull it to the rear and pick it up and then go forward. And as you see, the spring almost always comes off with it. So the slide is complete, we can set that aside. And for a factory gun, you'd remove the nut here at about this time. Go ahead and take the guide rod out. And again, note the, this angled portion, that is the portion when we reassemble is going to be facing the takedown lever. Once the nut here is removed, we can remove the barrel shroud, press to the rear on the barrel, and rotate somewhat to get it around the ejector. And disassembly is complete. Reassembly, we just reverse the process. So we'll place the barrel back in. And if you look on the rear of the barrel shroud, there is a notch that matches up with a nipple inside this block. That notch faces downward, and you can kind of twist and lock it into place. Again, we're going to make sure when we return the guide rod that this angle is facing the left side of the gun toward the takedown lever. I'm going to line everything up with the slide. I'm going to pull to the rear. Now I've done this a dozen times. There we go. To the rear and down. And once that's complete, we can press inward on the takedown lever and flip it up. Now for my purposes, I have to lock it to the rear and screw the threaded barrel adapter back on. You could do this earlier in the reassembly process. But there we have it. Disassembly and reassembly of the M&P 22 series of pistols. Hey, Jeremy from Lucky Hat Outdoors, and if you enjoyed our videos and had a good time, make sure you subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.